Hi, I'm Nick Offerman, and today I'm going undercover on a place I dislike, the internet. It's actually me. I'm not even good at opening laptops. <laughs> Let's start with Twitter. Hey, Nick Offerman, where does this mustache rate on the Ron Swanson scale? Three out of 100. Sent. <laughs> Nick Offerman, I made a bat on the lathe. What do you think? Small. Too small. <laughs> it was my first headshot. All anyone really needs is a young Nick Offerman to grow with. I don't know, I, I could do without the earring. Props on the mutton chops. Officially posted. YouTube. Many people are saying that we are a divided nation. Offerman 2020? I don't think so. I am not a lawmaker. I'm not trained in the law. I don't think a, a blowhard performer from NBC should ever consider uh, running for office. Seems like common sense to me. Sent. Why does he use a tumbler instead of a Glen Cairn? Is he a barbarian? If a vessel holds a beverage, without spilling or dripping, then I consider it uh, an appropriate vessel. Wikipedia. That is actually me. Offerman is a diehard Chicago Cubs and Chicago Bears fan. He and his wife play guitar together in their free time. I would call myself a diehard Cubs fan, I'm not a diehard Bears fan. Uh, I don't watch a lot of football. My wife and I uh, like to do puzzles together in our free time and make sweet, slow, languorous love. And enter. Instagram. I think my neighbor's cat bears a resemblance to one of my favorite Pawnee public employees. I'll take that as a compliment. Transmission complete. Mr. Offerman, a.k.a. Ron Swanson, is healing up nicely. Come at me with more portraits. This is a, a very well-rendered tattoo of my face on human flesh, and I will try to continue living my life in a way that you're not one day sorry. Whew. I know what I'm about, son. I'm not sure you do know what you're about. That is a pretty attractive rendering of my several chins. But I'm not sure uh, that Ron would ever wear that shirt. And what, what planet is behind him? Fascinating. Thank you. What the fuck? My new Ron Swanson tattoo on my forearm. I hope you have a fine collection of long-sleeved shirts. I appreciate the, uh, the bacon heart. Your work is true, and uh, I wish you a long life. Got to do this Ron Swanson on RRP Lily. Thanks so much, lady. It was lots of fun. There's a rather a maritime quality to this tattoo, as well as a, uh, an uncooked steak, all of which I applaud. Sent. Reddit. Officially on the internets. I'm a 23-year-old black male, and all I want in life is to be Ron Swanson. Don't tell me it's not possible. Don't, please. It's not possible. How long has he been doing this? How powerful is he? How long has he been doing what? And he's probably medium powerful. IMDB. My IMDB trademarks are characters that express a large amount of machismo, deadpan style delivery, and mustache. A fourth trademark, I would add, is a surprisingly graceful dancer. Posted. Quora. What is the most badass thing about Nick Offerman? His readiness to cry. Submit. Is there anybody in real life like Ron Swanson? Probably not. He's a brilliant fictional creation of some really smart comedy writers. He wouldn't be that appetizing of a person. <laughs> He'd have high points, but generally would be pretty boring and pedantic. Response transmitted. Yahoo Answers. 
Is Nick Offerman really a libertarian? While I admire the philosophy of the libertarian mindset, I think it's proven to be ineffectual in actual governance. So, no, I am not. I'm a free-thinking American. Sent. Who would win in a fight? Chuck Norris or Ron Swanson? Good question. Uh, probably Chuck Norris. He's a trained fighter. And Ron Swanson is a government bureaucrat who can throw a punch, but... I think training would win out in the end. Enter. Do women like good mustaches? Some do, some don't. There's no accounting for taste. It's actually me. More Quora. Does Nick Offerman really play the saxophone? I do really play the saxophone, not nearly as well as Duke Silver. I started on the baritone sax um, in fifth grade and became a pretty competent tenor sax player. I sat first chair in my high school's jazz band and won the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award upon graduation in 1988. And I believe that was considered the peak of my own saxophone career. Sent. Which actors have been influenced by Nick Offerman? Now, how in the world would I know the answer to that question? Anthony Hopkins, I would guess, has been influenced by me. Meryl Streep, I've noticed she's mimicked some of my facial tics, which I take as a compliment. And uh, Benedict Cumberbatch started using facial hair in some of his recent movies, so you tell me. In four words, what is Nick Offerman like in real life? Coquettish, cute as hell. That's it for now. I hope that I answered some of your questions, and I've once again confirmed that the internet is not where I would like to be. Oops, hang on.